Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. I guess maybe I need to speak to the side. Or this side, either way. <laughs> but anyway, this is... Um, I'm just going to put this down. You can see this is the Mass Effect Andromeda box. It's a special box uh, by Loot Crate. Um, never unboxed the Loot Crate item um, or a Loot Crate box of any type on this channel before. So this is a first for my experience with a Loot Crate. I have had one Loot Crate box in my lifetime. Once again, I didn't do a video for it, but uh, two, maybe three years ago, they did a special Loot Crate for the original Mass Effect series. I think it was when Mass Effect 3 was out for a little bit. Um, and that was really cool. There were some really awesome items in there, including uh, my favorite thing, a really nice N7 hoodie with like a nice stripe down the arm. Still wear that hoodie to this day. So hopefully there's something cool like that in this. I think these are, I think these are supposed to be all kind of exclusive things. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, one thing about the timing of this crate, so they sold it before the Mass Effect Andromeda game came out, which I was pissed off about because I think it was like a whole month or two ahead of time because I think they pre-sold it in like February and then it ended up coming out in like March, uh, end of March. Um, so I was kind of like, why do we have to wait for this stuff so long? Like Mass Effect Andromeda is coming out in months and then, and so they pre-sold it before the game and then it didn't show up until like three months after the game's been out basically. So I was just like, that's kind of crappy because then you're just like, randomly getting it like honestly i'd forgotten that i had purchased this at this point i came home from work and it's on my front step so i was just like oh yeah that's right i purchased this but i will say it was smart on their part to do it ahead of time and here's why because the game had so much hype going into it which you could sell tons of stuff at that point and then once it actually came out it ended up getting a lot of uh backlash i guess is the best way to put it there's a decent amount of backlash. People were kind of upset with like the facial animations and there was a bunch of stuff that wasn't totally good to go with the game. So a lot of people were like, why did you release this product that's not totally done? So uh, I think it was smart of them to pre-sell this before the game came out because then they'd make sure that they could sell all of them. If they would have done it after the game actually came out, they may have had a hard time selling this because a lot of that excitement probably died out. Um, me personally, I was a huge fan of the original Mass Effect trilogy. Huge fan. Loved it. So I ordered this and I'm like, yes, hopefully it's close to as good. It's Mass Effect Andromeda is still a good game, but it falls vastly short of where the original three were. So disappointing for that reason, but still a good game in its own right. So, But anyway, not as excited for this box anymore because the game isn't as great as I wanted it to be, but hopefully there's just some good items in here and it'll be cool. Uh, I think this was like a 60, no, probably more than $60 box. I think it was like a hundred bucks maybe. I know the, um, pretty sure the, the one that I did for Mass Effect 3 was like a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna go with that. I don't, oh, there might be another hoodie in this. There might be another hoodie, so. I guess I'll have to get that out first because it's really in the way. So let's see. If it's a hoodie, if it's a good one, I'm totally down. I love hoodies. Love hoodies, especially ones that are designed well. And this is not as nice as the other one. Yeah, this is actually not all that nice. Gotta be honest. Um, the design of it, look, it's like, it's just like blue, blue and white, which are the colors of the Andromeda initiative in the game. Okay. So it's got like a blue inside. Okay. Um, so blue and white. Now here's my problem. They have like a kind of crappy patch, like haphazardly sewed onto the arm. And it's really honest, it's not good quality at all. No, 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 no. Actually, let me, um, yeah, this is uh, kind of a crappy hoodie. Gotta be honest. Um, I'm gonna do a comparison real quick. I'm gonna real quick run and grab the other one that I got. Hold on.
Look at how fast I am. Check that out. Okay, so this is the one that we had gotten from the one before. Okay, so it was like a grayish color. I don't know if you can tell from that. So it had like the nice red, red and white stripe down the one arm. You know, regular hood, like black, um, dark gray on the hood. But the embroidering, or embro there's actual embroidery for the N7 logo. You see, this is not some crappy patch. You can even see it on the back. It's not like a crappy patch. It was like straight up embroidered into this. Now, this new one, no embroidery. Look at this. Look at this. Just like hanging over. That is lazy. That's lazy shit. That is lazy. <sighs> yeah. This is a super lazy design. That's a crappy hoodie. Uh, can I, Chloe, can you get off that? My cat wants to sit on it. I guess I have to put these somewhere else. Put this on the chair over here. That's bad design. Bad job, Loot Crate. That's bad. Especially, here's the thing. It's in comparison to what you did before. Don't, if you set the bar pretty high, that one was really nice. This new one, that's poor quality, man. That's bad on you, Loot Crate. All right, next item. I don't even know what this is. There better be, oh, okay. Well, it's a coin. It's a, this is kind of cool if you're into, well, if you like the game, basically. Let me move this a little bit. Crap, I'm going to stop. So this is cool if you really like the game. It's an Andromeda Initiative coin. Some sort of metal. Like metal-ish. It's an Andromeda Initiative. Okay, that's cool. Looks good. And on the other side, it's got, it says Pathfinder on it, which is, you know, your title. So... The coin's kind of cool. Comes with a case, so you can display it. Now, does it go into the? Case? Yeah, you gotta really shove it in there. But there you go. It goes in the case. Um, I guess you can have it kind of sitting up. All right, that's okay. That's an okay item. I'm still pissed about that hoodie. That hoodie is very poorly designed. That sucks. All right, next item. Uh, a patch. What the. F Okay, so it's an Andromeda Initiative patch. I mean, the patch is well made, but why is it gray and white? This, the, this has nothing to do with the colors of Mass Effect or the Andromeda Initiative. It's kind of odd, it just makes it look super drab. Eh. Next, there better be something really good in here. I would be pretty mad. I'm already kind of mad, you can tell. But Oh, faux pas. Forgot to silence my phone. That's my wife calling. She will have to wait because we are doing this unboxing. My bad. All right. Um, okay. Okay, I understand where they're going with this. I mean, I can't really fault Loot Crate too much on this one. But, but they have a Nomad... So it's kind of like a Hot Wheels, in a sense. It's the little Nomad. Anyone familiar with the game knows this is like the little um, kind of like space buggy that you can get around in. Now here's the thing. I hate this item because I hate the Nomad in the game. Uh, that's something that they had in the very, very, very first Mass Effect. And it was the biggest thing that everybody said they hated. It was stupid. It was idiotic. You just drive around finding random crap on planets, and it took forever, and it was not exciting. Got rid of it in the second one and didn't have it in the third one because they listened to what people had to say. For some stupid-ass reason, brought it back for Mass Effect Andromeda. That's been the biggest thing that pissed me off about the game. You brought back the main thing that people said they hated the most when the very first game came out. Bioware. What? What are you doing? So, this isn't necessarily a bad idea for Loot Crate, but 
for people who are actual fans of the series, they're probably not going to like this because it just reminds them of how crappy this is on the game. So, sorry. Next. It's like a comic or something, I'm assuming. Yep, they did this with the uh, other Mass Effect one, which is fine. Like, I've gotten into comics. It's not bagged and boarded, though. If you're going to do comics this day and age, you should bag and board them if you're sending them. But this was laying pretty flat, so it's not, like, messed up or anything, which is fine. So this is Mass Effect Discovery, and it's got a Turian on it, one of the races in it, and it's one of those black and white styles, so that's fine, I don't have any problems with that, I'll read it, hopefully it's good. Next, there's two other things in here, and they're in boxes, okay, don't give me shot glasses, because they did shot glasses, oh god. This might be even worse. What in the hell? Bowls. Shitty plastic bowls. Like, uh, I mean, the logos on them are not bad, but okay. So it says blast off, blastos. It's like a uh, you know, faux cereal. Okay, I can get a little closer. So it's got like. You know, oh man, it's like Lucky Charms. It's got like these marshmallows and it's like a few different things from the game. Poorly rendered. Um, and then you got a creature from there, from the game with um, guns, the cereal. And it's two of these bowls. And they're plastic. Maybe someone likes that. Not me. This is weak. This is so weak at the moment. Next item. Oh, okay. I'm glad uh, for this. This is cool. So I do like pins, and here are some pins that they sent. Very cool. I actually did get in early enough. Some people who did the pre-order within like the first few hundred people who ordered got a, an additional special initiative pin. So I did get one of those. So this is the additional one, and they did a good job just kind of like letting you know this is your addi additional one. So, I mean, it's nothing crazy. That's the logo for the and drum initiative and I guess everyone got this one which is the Tempest that's right the Tempest the um, spaceship that everyone travels on in the game so that's cool I like the pins I'm a pin person so and then I have something really heavy this feels like it might be shot glasses or something it's heavy it's very heavy oh tumblers actually These are actual glass tumblers. These are actually kind of nice. I kind of like these. And they're for Vortex. Now Vortex being, I don't know, I, need, I don't need to show you both of them. <laughs> I don't need to show you both, they're, they're identical. So Vortex is like the, the club there where you can go and like get a drink. And if you see, it's cool because they have texture to the glass. It's like it's twisted, like Vortex. So it kind of, it like definitely fits with the bar theme. That's actually pretty cool. I was, I was obviously, as you can tell, I was concerned that they were just going to be putting in some, uh, some stupid shot glasses. But no, those are tumblers. People can definitely use those. They're glass. That's nice. You can also put them in the dishwasher. Then, that's actually cool. I think that might have been it. <sighs> mm. Yeah, and then they always put stuff on the inside so you can like turn it into something. And look, you can. I don't know. I don't like that kind of stuff. It's not my thing. So, um, and then they have like a little thing that looks like you're kind of like notepad, digital notepad, uh, flavor text basically, not a big deal. Um, yeah, and then they just have a rundown of what you got. Andromeda Initiative hoodie, Andromeda Initiative challenge coin, Vortex lowball glass set, Blasto cereal bowl set, 164 scale nomad diecast replica and andromeda initiative patch and pin so just just basically a recap of what you already saw now to recap what do i actually like and not like this will be fine for some people the bowls will be fine for some people i think it's lame um because here's the thing probably the majority of people buying this were adults and most people aren't really going to want this, is my guess. I don't. 
I don't like it. This is kind of cool. It's like a memorabilia type thing. People love these types of things. You can display them. It goes in very, very well with the whole Mass Effect Andromeda theme. Same with the pins. The pins are really cool. I like those too. The patch is a fine idea. This can also be displayed. I just question their color choice just because it doesn't really tie in. You know, it's just random. Um, the tumblers, or what do they call them on here? Lowball glasses. The lowball glass set. Cool. Actually cool. Um, pretty cool. And the other thing is since it just says Vortex on it, it's more one of those items that only people who are in the know are really going to get it, which is even cooler. And the fact that those glasses are actually like twisted, they have texture to them, they're cool. I like those. Those are nice. Um, this is <laughs> this is actually, I do like it. I do like the, the little Nomad. Um, it is good for displaying once again. This is another good displaying thing. But uh, it just reminds you of the worst thing about the game. So that sucks. I don't know how well the Loot Crate folks putting this together knew the game, so maybe they didn't really know that aspect of it. I don't know. Um, comic book, that's fine. I, I mean, I'll read it. It's cool. I like comics. A lot of people like comics, so that's all good. The hoodie. <laughs> Garbage. Um, will I wear it? I will attempt to wear it. It feels, I mean, it feels soft on the inside, but this design is bad. This is a bad design, in my opinion. Um, the blue and the white on it isn't the biggest problem to me. You you would have been relatively fine. I mean, at least just do it kind of like, kind of like the N7 one. Maybe just the do like a, a variation on the colors. Just do like a blue and white stripe instead of the red and white stripe, and do like both arms or something. I don't know. It's just this design is kind of stupid because. It's like all dark and like dark gray on the bottom and then it's just got this color up top and in the hood and it doesn't look that good like it kind of looks more like a raincoat or a poncho you can get a good idea about by looking at that it just looks like kind of like a crappy rain poncho or something and then the biggest glaring flaw is this horrible patch on here that just hangs off that's terrible and the other thing is it's got sharp edges to it. Someone's gonna go walk through a door, get this caught on the doorway, and it's gonna rip off. That's a stupid idea. Loot Crate, you really messed up on that. Bad design, awful, laziness, terrible. Overall, I would say I'm, I, I'm okay with this. Um, am I happy I got it? No, I'm not happy I got it. And it's mainly because of that hoodie. And a few of the other choices. <laughs> they need a more collectible stuff. Give us a like a diecast bust of one of the characters. Give us something like that. I mean, come on. You know, do a better job with the design of the hoodie. Give us maybe some socks. They did socks before with like a nice design. I just feel like they kind of they had a few good ideas on this one and then with some other stuff they're like, uh, I don't know. Maybe they were running up against a deadline, but I don't know. Overall disappointed. Um, I think, it, like I said, it's fine. Like some of the stuff individually I, I quite like, but as a whole, disappointed in this box. Damn, that hoodie's terrible. That design is awful. I was really hoping for a hoodie and mm, I might give it away. I don't even know. That looks so bad though. Like get another, get another good look at, at how this is supposed to. Well, let me do it from here. Get another good look at how this is supposed to look. Like, look at all that. All the colors just on the top. That looks stupid. It looks awful, awful, awful. Who thought that up? Fire that person. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Um, I'm not doing any other Loot Crate stuff, I don't think. Unless there's some, like, really cool collectible case that comes out. Sorry about the phone call earlier. My bad. I should have taken care of that. But anyway, thank you guys for checking this out. Check out my more regular... Uh, unboxing videos. I have been doing uh, Box of Dread and I've been doing, um, why am I blanking on it? Oh, the Bam Box, which are two really cool subscription boxes. And every now and then I do a big old box of stuff, which I really, really like. I need to get another one of those too. But check out those videos. Thank you very much for doing that. And hopefully you enjoy some stuff. But until next time, keep it brutal.